was 1960 when I started the Boys and Girls Club. And I went there to learn how to play basketball. And came away from there with teachings of life. In 2013, Lois and I were chosen to re receive the Lewis Dupree Award, my childhood hero. So we both went and we took a tour of the facility. And one of the conversations I remember very dearly was her admiration for the Boys and Girls Club. You would stand back and wonder what would happen, what we would lose by not having programs. So I knew right from the start, I had to do something for kids to make her happy. So I came up with the idea for Lois Carney Art Room with the hope and the desire to teach kids not only art, but how to express themselves. The Boys and Girls Club uh, has 1,000 members. We feed, mentor, give computer skills, ath athletics to over 200 children per day. We serve over 30,000 meals per year. We spend over 35,000 hours of time doing homework every year. The Boys and Girls Club serves all children with all kinds of likes and dislikes. And years ago, it was a lot of sports, sports only. So now we try to have something for everyone. So there are plenty of children who are interested in art, whether it be visual arts or dramatic arts, etc. So we give them the opportunity to express themselves um, through art. It's another avenue of expression, another positive way to utilize their energy, and it, it's a huge benefit to the children that we serve. I've been going to the Boys and Girls Club for over 10 years. It's a, it's a place that the kids um, feel safe, and not only that they feel safe, that I believe it's better than being on the streets and or be home watching TV all day, doing nothing, just being playing video games. In this place, you get to meet people, talk to people, socialize. What I'm doing now at my Votech school is all about art, and what my friend is doing at uh, his college is doing all about art, and. It's really great that if we could have a program like that, we could teach kids that there's more than just that meets the eye. We could show them like a whole new world. That'd be amazing. The room is to be constructed for kids to be able to not only learn how to draw, to appreciate art in a paper form, but also in a digital form, in photography, in sculpture. We also want to teach Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and digital imaging. So we give them the reinforcing to be able to write and express their feelings. It's one thing to be an artist. It's another thing to be able to explain what your art is all about. I've been going to the Boys and Girls Club since I was five, and I love it. Without the Boys and Girls Club, I don't really know how we would survive. They love the children there, and you, you feel so welcomed when you come. And then uh, the different activities that they do, when they take them to Knobles, or they do baseball camp, or they do um, swimming, it's just a good experience for those children that weren't able to do that. Some kids are not as fortunate as others, and they don't get to experience what love really feels like. There's no place better than the Boys and Girls Club, period. I think that the Lois Carney Art Studio and Art and Education programs in general will change what the Boys and Girls Club does by providing more specialized art programming to the children that we serve. And there's a huge need for that now with the Scranton School District and some outlying areas decreasing the art that is happening in school. We are providing more of it to these children at the club. We are so grateful to the Carney family for their generosity in giving the foundation for a program, an arts program, that is going to be transformational for the Boys and Girls Club of Northeastern Pennsylvania, and more importantly, for the kids that the Boys and Girls Club serve. 
it is important that these children have the opportunity to get their God-given talents to express themselves. I love the Boys and Girls Club of Northeastern Pennsylvania and its support and its guidance it does for our children. And remember, our assets are our kids and they are our future. Thank you.